hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so I was in the shower doing my hair and this topic came into my head and I wanted to uh, come talk to you guys about it while I moisturize my hair it's not really anything serious yeah I just didn't have a chill day <laughs> So I just wash, I just washed my hair. I came out of the shower, and I just want to moisturize my hair. It's gonna be a very very lazy moisturizing because one, I am hungry. Two, I need to be out of here and go do some errands, and three, I just don't feel like putting it a lot of time today. So it's gonna be a pretty lazy moisturizing. And when I say lazy moisturizing, I'm just gonna pop my hair into four instead of like, no, I'm gonna pop my hair into two instead of four or six part and just moisturize like that. Um, this is this is the way I moisturize my hair when I'm on the go. Um, I just need to be out of the door or I'm feeling lazy. So yeah. That is not the reason for this video. Anyway. So what I do, my hair is pretty much damp, and I'm going to be using um, the waterless hair balm condition and style, and then the waterless curl milk refresh and redefine. These are the two products I'll be using, and then I'll use my DIY oil to seal it. So yeah, I'm not going to be talking about the products anymore. That's why I just want to get it out of the way. So let's talk about the reason why we're here. <laughs> so today I just wanted to talk about hair typing and why I hate it so much. If you have been natural for a while, you will know that there are a lot of conversation on hair typing and like what kind of hair that somebody have, what kind of hair category or hair falls in a. Uh, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, all of that jazz. And over the years, I've had people walk up to me and be like, oh, what is your hair type? And I'm like, I think type 4, maybe a little bit of 3C in there, but I just do not care. And sometimes too, people try to impose a hair type on me and be like, oh, your hair is 3B, 3A, 3C. I'm like, can you leave my hair alone? uh it doesn't matter <laughs> i feel like hair typing just create this division in the natural hair community and it makes some hair feel more superior than the other and it makes like oh if you have a three if you have a type three hair then your hair is more beautiful than somebody who have a type four hair it really doesn't matter that is one reason why i hate hair typing sorry if you hear the background noise, I live by the roadside. Do you guys know? So yeah, that's one reason why I hate hair typing. There shouldn't be like this kind of division that somebody be like, oh, my hair is type 3, so my hair is better than you. You have type 4 hair. It shouldn't be like that. It's just hair, people. It's not that serious. <laughs> it's just hair. And I also feel like the reason why this whole thing came about is because of YouTube, you know. People started discovering things and they put things out there. And then brands pick up on it and start marketing product towards these hair types. If a brand put my products for type 4 hair, people want to buy it more than if a brand just doesn't label the product, you know. The next reason is making brand exploit a lot of people. It's like because a lot of uh, natural hair people, especially people with type 4 hair, don't have a lot of things that work for their hair. Brands target this audience and then just slap the type 4 hair thing on their, on their container and then they are like, okay. And then someone with type 4 hair see it and be like, oh, this might work for me. I feel like it's very deceptive and I just don't like it. <laughs> Another thing that makes me really to start hating this whole hair typing thing is when people message me on Instagram or Facebook or maybe my Facebook group, which I'm very inactive in. Um, I just have a lot on my plate. I cannot do everything. And I don't want anyone to take this the bad way. I love it when people test me and people want a, uh, want a solution to their problem and they discuss their hair problem with me and I really really want to help them you know that is why I created my YouTube channel to help people out um, especially people like in places like Africa that they don't really um, this not there's not a lot of information on natural hair and how to keep your natural hair and stuff like that and I love it when people reach out to me and they're like oh my hair is this and this and this can you help me yes but what 
bothers me a lot is when somebody goes oh your hair is so beautiful I love your curls it's so beautiful and I wish my hair was like that my hair is so hard it, it like it's not curly enough it's like okay I like the compliment it is nice and I appreciate it but when you start to compare my hair to your hair that is when I start to get a problem and I know it's because of lack inf of information that people do this some people will legit ask me what can I do to my hair to make it look like yours and that kind of question would just come from like lack of information and, and I'm like you can't do anything to your hair to make it look like mine this is my hair this is what I was born with this is how my hair grew out of my scalp and it just I feel like sometimes when you give that answer people feel disappointed and that's not what they want to hear they want you to give them a solution to their problem and then here you are telling them okay I have no solution so it's like what's the point why are you here <laughs> But that is the truth though. Your hair cannot be like mine. Everybody's hair is different. And I just want people to know that no matter how your hair looks, it is beautiful. I see girls with, and I'll say like, I'll say 4C because this is the most um, hair typing category. If you're going to use it, that people feel like their hair is not pretty enough. I see a lot of girls with 4C and it is stunning and it is gorgeous and it's beautiful I'm not saying that to make you happy but I low-key envy them but the thing is at some point you need to accept this is what you have this is your hair it's okay to admire somebody's hair but when you start to compare and start to hate your hair because of somebody's hair that is a problem the number one thing to growing your hair that people don't talk about is you have to accept your hair the way it is you have to start loving your hair think about it when you're in a relation you love somebody so much you want to do whatever it takes to make the person happy right it's the same thing with your hair when you love your hair you want to do everything to make sure your hair flourish and your hair is healthy I have invested a lot of time and a lot of energy in my hair and yes it is now that I really don't have the time and I really don't care so I just really don't pay attention a lot to my hair but those who were there when I said my natural hair journey will tell you the kind of crazy things that I did to my hair because I just wanted to say a flourish and to say a grow. I'm saying that just to say that regardless of your hair type your hair is beautiful stop putting your hair in this box and stop telling people that my hair is type 4 so you can do this you can do that you can do that there are some certain things that can work for a certain category of hair and it will not work for another category of hair but you have to find what works for your hair and how you want to wear your hair out for instance i do a lot of wash and goes not because i pull my hair down like this when i'm going out it's because it's easy and also the my signature styles are the afro the, like I like big hair I like my hair big I do not like my hair like this I like a big frizzy and all of that and it's, it's in everybody's face <laughs> that's how I like my hair and then I like my hair in a ponytail because it's manageable I can just put it in a bun and then I leave so you have to find what works for your hair now the only thing that I think the whole hair typing thing is great for it. maybe you're starting out and you want somebody's hair who look like you so you just want guidance you want to follow somebody that is where uh, it's important to do hair typing but I also don't think it's necessary you can just look at somebody's hair and kind of tell what kind of hair they have to some extent you know and you can just follow them that also being said though if you have 4C and I have 4C the fact that I'm using this product and it works on my 4C hair it does not mean it's gonna work on your 4C hair people need to understand the reason why natural hair is very very beautiful one of the beautiful thing about natural hair is it is unique it has a life of its own it does things on its own like a product this product might work for me today tomorrow I'll pick it up and it's like okay I don't want it to work for me again so I have to change it your hair keep changing as you change. Grow. yeah products that I've used in the past that I have raved about like I can tell you 
like that product work for me and I love it and I'm so excited about it and now I don't use it because it doesn't work anymore yes it could be like the company decided to mess up with a formula that they used before all my hair just got fed up of the product it could be any of this too and I just want you to guys to know that you need to put in the work you need to try and find what works for your hair and these YouTube videos are here for a guide you know people tell you their stuff and their journey but most most importantly, they are telling you their journey, what they have learned, what they have experienced throughout the way. It's just a guide for you to use to learn the same things about your hair. So, I want you to do the work and put in the work to know about your hair. That's the only way it's going to grow. You know, you can keep comparing, sitting down, comparing your hair to other people's hair. Like I said, it's okay. I'm not trying to bash anybody. It's very okay I to use the natural light, that's why it keeps going on and off. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to admire somebody's hair, to like somebody's hair and to compliment them. It is not. I'm not saying it is. I just want you to know that while you're complimenting the people, you shouldn't try to always be comparing. Comparing to some extent is great. We need a, some level of competition to grow in this world, okay? So comparing to some level is great the moment you start that comp uh, comp the moment that competition start to become negative that's what you need to tell yourself okay it's okay we need to slow down it's not that serious so that's all i want to come on here to say and like i said you guys text me let's talk about your hair let's talk about how i can help you out i don't mind at all if I don't reply your test, it's because I am busy, it's not because I'm ignoring you. I check my DM, like I check my WhatsApp messages, and that's one thing. So people do ask me of my WhatsApp uh, number. I am not comfortable giving my number out. Um, you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook. Just text me on those platforms. I will reply to you at the same level. I wish I replied to my WhatsApp message. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video. I don't know if I have something else that I want to say. Okay, I just want to end this video and tell you guys that everybody's hair is beautiful regardless of your hair type. If you want to be using hair type, that is cool, use it. I don't, I really, I will use a hair typing in my in the title of my video or uh, if the video concerns hair typing just because it's just this whole YouTube thing there are certain things that work for the algorithm that you just have to use but personally I just do not buy the whole hair typing thing if that works for you no I'm not bashing it I just personally don't use it I do not like people labeling my hair that is one thing that I do not like it get on my nerves <laughs> I try to just play it out, but I do not like people telling me what kind of hair type that I have. I know definitely my hair is not 4C. It doesn't matter whether my hair is 4C or 4A or 4B or 4Z or whatever. It doesn't matter. I just do not like people labeling my hair. Your hair type does not have anything to do with the health of your hair, your hair growth or nothing. Let me just break that myth that people have been carrying for so many years. It does have it doesn't have anything to do with that. You can completely be ignorant about your hair type and still make your hair grow. I can tell you like the big category that my hair is part of, but I don't know whether my hair is 3C or 4 a or whether it's 4A here or 4 B here or whatever. I don't know. I just know I have multiple textures on my hair and I'm okay with that. You know, I just focus on what works for my hair when it comes to styling and stuff like that i am not hard on myself when it comes to my hair i do very minimum to my hair and i do not necessarily want to see my hair in the most curly state yes it's cute and it's fine by by day two i'm over it and i want my hair to be big and when your hair is big it's going to give you it's gonna give you a freeze, so that's gonna take the curl away. Until you start discovering and start learning your hair in a different way and seeing your hair in a different way, you will know the potentials that your hair have. You will know the beauty that your hair have. You have to learn to see your hair as beautiful. And so when somebody tell you, oh, your hair is beautiful, you're not gonna believe the person because 
you think your hair is not there are people that I've met and then they have they have tighter curls than me and then I, I tell them oh your hair is very beautiful and then they look at me and look at my hair and they're like oh, <laughs> you don't know what you're saying no it is beautiful like <laughs> can you just believe that <laughs> it's just crazy so all I just want to say is the sound is messing up to this end this video this video is just too long I didn't plan for it to be this long so all I'm just saying is love your hair in whatever state that is in whether it's damaged whether it's broken whether it's you're trying to figure out this natural hair journey whether it's type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 love your hair in whatever state it is if it is damaged because you love your hair you want to try to repair that damage there's really when it comes to hair typing there's really nothing can do you can do about it so for your hair pattern to change or your hair the way your hair looks to change all i know is doing a texturizer a relaxer and that does not equal you having natural hair then that means you're messing with your hair so how your hair grow out of your scalp is god given that is what god gave you and god knows what is best for you you have to accept that Loving your hair is just like loving the body that you're in. So it's the hair is part of the body, so you can just be loving the body and be ignoring and be hating on the hair. So yeah, I just want to say that everybody's hair is beautiful, you guys. You don't know how much your hair is beautiful until you start appreciating the beauty that is in your hair. So start seeing your hair as beautiful. I have made video, this video so long, so I am going to end it here and let me know if you are into the whole hair typing thing. If you are, what type is your hair? Do you think hair typing is a great idea? Do you dislike it? Do you like it? Let's have that conversation in the comments. And yeah, I'm going to head out and do my errands and the sun is messing up. I do not like the quality of this video, but anywho, <laughs> I don't want to turn on my ring light. so. I'll catch you in my next video. So until then, stay blessed and beautiful.